Welcome to Crusading, make sure to subscribe and like this video. So in this video, I'll be talking about some cool GoPro apps. So we got the GoPro app right here, but we're not going to be using this app. We're going to be looking at Splice, Splice right here, and Quick. So these are really cool apps. So we're going to open Splice. So for example, I made a video right here. Pop that open. So now you open it. So you can look at all your clips right here on the bottom and GoPro already puts a little intro on the bottom, or outro actually. So when you click audio, you can control all your stuff right here. So this is super cool. So we're gonna back that up. So I can adjust all the audio and stuff here. So for example, I'm gonna add a voiceover. So you click this little arrow right here. Add that, or you can add effects and stuff. You can use your iTunes or music. So you can add little effects and stuff. So we're gonna pick like, no, let's not do this. Let's do some cinematic. We're gonna do backstage. So download the song for you. So these songs are free to use and are not copyright. So this is really cool of GoPro doing this. And it's almost done. These are high quality songs. They're not cheap or anything. So now on this song right here all of the way, I'm gonna adjust the volume and turn it down. And I'm gonna click back. So now I'm gonna replay this. You get your new song or you can turn down the volume on this one and go back and turn this one back up now so you can control as you can see right here I can turn it down a little more or max it out so we're gonna max it out uh, we're gonna go back video so now in your videos you can go to your videos you're working on and it's loading took a second so now we can click on each individual video and edit the video or work on other videos also. So I'm going to work on this one right here. We can edit this one right here. So now he pulls up. It will pull up all your trim tools, your cut tools, and other visual effects so you can add colors and stuff. So you got your different choices. And then uh, adjust We'll adjust all that real quick. It's pretty fast. We're gonna do none for right now. And then you can go to your speed and speed this up or speed it down. So for now, we're gonna put it back to where it was at one. If I can do that. Okay, so after that, you can now add text and stuff. So you would double tap to add your text. Hashtag GoPro. Click done. Now you add your intro, you can move it and stuff wherever you want it and put it right here. And you can pick all these different colors and looks. This is pretty neat and I want my Chris editing blue. So after that, so now you can actually do Ken Burns. If you don't know what Ken Burns are, they're a really cool uh, zoom type of effect. So now we can So now we're going to Ken Burn up to here, and then we're going to fix our text. So now we go back, click the back button, go zoom back, and click play. It might take a second depending on your phone, so it took a little second to crop in, but that's no biggie. So we can go back to adjusting our audio and stuff. So I can click on the individual video and adjust this audio and stuff if I want to, but I'm not gonna have the audio pie, so we're gonna go back. Then after you're done working on the video, 
you can click the share button. So now you can share it with a link. You can send it in a message, mail, YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. But I'm just going to click save and save the project. So now you have a choice of medium, uh, large, or 720. So when you use splice, you only get 720p. But I'm not going to use splice. We're going to use quick. So this is another one of GoPros. So you open quick up. So quick is very cool. So it's gonna pop right open. Takes a minute. So Quick prepares videos for you every week. So if you go up in your notifications up top and scroll down, it would actually create a video for you every week. So this is very cool. So it doesn't have any right now, or you can look at your own videos. So this is one of my videos I made, but I'm gonna create one. So when you click create, it's gonna give you a choice to pick your footage. So I'm going to go down and pick GoPro album and then click OK. So give it a second, it'll import your footage. So if this happens, uh, if some of your videos do the high frame rates, this is OK. You can just click remove from project. So now it's creating your videos. So it's a four second little video. But it's no big. We're gonna redo this. Do you want to exit? Yes. So instead of using video, I'm just gonna use some pictures. I don't mind. Import your footage. And now it's creating it. So it's already playing your video. So that is very cool. So now if you scroll down, you have all these choices and there's so many. I didn't think there'd be a lot. So we're gonna do some cool radical. So give it a second. It takes about five to 10 seconds and it's already done. So I can go to the volume and adjust that or change the song but I like the song so I'm gonna click that pause button so I can change the song but I'm not gonna do that or you can actually add a title so you can scroll down and add a title to any of these guys you want to do and then you can drag and reorder all your stuff check that in I like it and you can go down and adjust your format so I got square so square is like an Instagram type of look, or you got cinema, so if you're going to upload it to YouTube and stuff, click that check mark. You can adjust your duration. So right here I got all these different adjustments, so it will show your target, so you can get some people's attention. So now if you go all the way down, 15 seconds for Instagram, you can get it lower. But I like my 38 second mark. So we're gonna click that check. It's gonna load the video. You can look at all the formats. So this is very cool. So I'm gonna adjust it sideways. that play pause button scroll back and now you click save so now you can save it to your photo library or more so I'm gonna do photo library so now it's already saving to your photo library this will take about a minute depending how big it is but it's no biggie And you do not want to close quick. If so, you will completely ruin it. So it's no biggie. So now it says success. You can click that done button. 
So now you got your two projects I got right here. So you got all your tools and stuff and you can allow it not to make weekly videos or to make weekly videos. So this is very cool. So this is my little review on GoPro's Quick and Splice. Make sure to subscribe and like this video and thanks for watching.